Think about the roads we drive on, the public schools we learn in, or the vaccines being administered in public hospitals. They all exist thanks to public procurement, the process by which public authorities purchase work, goods or services from companies. Every year, public authorities in the EU spend approximately 2 trillion euros on those purchases. Public sector expenses for contracts above certain EU thresholds are regulated by the EU Public Procurement Directives, which aim at ensuring the transparency of the procurement process. Notices for those contracts must be published on the European Public Portal, TED. But four out of five procurement procedures fall below the EU thresholds. For these, national rules apply. In addition, disparities in the data scope, multiplicity of data sources and different data structure makes interoperability of public procurement data very complicated. Also, poor data quality makes it even more difficult to make use of data between member states. The public procurement data space will offer a solution by allowing for seamless access and easy reuse of data, while increasing the interconnection of existing open data sets. Its advanced analytics toolset will enhance the understanding of public procurement and enable value-added insights. The timing is aligned with other deep changes, such as the replacement of the current notices with the next generation called eForms. Developing in a collaborative approach, the data space will help strengthen the European data ecosystem. From automating repetitive administrative tasks to providing unprecedented insights, new technology can enable better decisions, better offers and increased transparency. The PPDS will revolutionise the public procurement data environment, enabling the use of emerging technologies to transform public procurement and to form a backbone to support public policies in the future that will help shape Europe's digital decade.